So, season five, it's the final season, the, the final six episodes of the show. How are you guys feeling? Is it bittersweet? Is it yeah, exciting? That's that the word. word we've been using. That's the word of the day, bittersweet. Yep, yep. Um, it's strange. It's a very, it's, I almost, um, the other analogy I've been using is like graduating high school. All of a sudden it's here and then it's over. You know, you yeah. spend five years doing something and then all of a sudden, I mean, we finished filming in October. Yeah. September, something mm. like that. So it's been a long goodbye. This is our last press tour oh, wow. for the show. So, so were there any tears on set that last day of filming? Ooh, no. Yes, a couple. She cried a lot. I only after I, got I had drunk. to be the, I had to be the strong, <laughs> silent it's type. Off. It's off. Yeah. That's what I'm getting the vibe that you he's know. A, he's a marshmallow. <laughs> uh, yeah, I love my show. I love our show. I love the people that I work with. I. It's, it's I watched my goodbye. sons grow up, and, you know, I mean, there's a lot of good memories. Yeah. So it was six years of our life, you know, and uh, I'm going to miss him the most. Oh, that's the, oh, that's so sweet. Oh. Yeah. They do love each other, guys. <laughs> um, so were you guys big sci-fi fans before you got on the show, or has this kind of sparked your interest in the genre? I was more of a fiction fantasy girl, like a Tolkien girl and stuff like that, but um, Comic-Con blew my mind. I got to see the DeLorean. Um, what? Yeah, I did. Um, and it was such a fabulous world to be involved in. And also there's no fans, like sci-fi fans. We're blessed to have been... You know, people love you. That's a really great feeling. So, Sci-fi fans and uh, fetishists. They are so loyal. <laughs> you have experience with both of those type well, of fans. Yes, right? I do. <laughs> uh, uh, you know, uh, I, I, I always was kind of uh, into sci-fi. Uh, like, n not necessarily the ch sci-fi channel. I didn't know much about the you channel. You Star Trek a lot. I, I'm a big original Star Trek guy. I love comic books. I mean, you have a Hulk original print at your I house, do, don't do. you? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah. You were pretty into it. You're being modest right yeah, now. My, my yeah. wife, my wife, my wife is like, really? It has to go in the front room. I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah my Hulk. <laughs> is so, that how you talk when yeah, you're homeless? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is that, is that, um, uh, Bill Marie's. I don't know. It's a, high a little bit of everything mixed together. Um, speaking of the fans, you guys have such a great fan base. What are some of like the craziest fan experiences that you've encountered? I had a girl accept my marriage proposal um, that she received through the television set. Wow. So when's the wedding? Uh, are, you getting, are you a big enough? We're already divorced. <laughs> we're getting married? Oh, wow. We got married and divorced. Did it, yeah. it was a Hollywood marriage. Yeah. You know what? I think my <laughs> exactly. strangest one was when you sent me that picture of the tattoo. Oh. There was a tattoo Ooh. of my face on um, an arm. And Jamie Murray's. And then they put in Jamie's afterwards. I was yes. kind of mad. I was like, I I'm know. not good enough just on my own. <laughs> but they, they want to see you guys, you know, scissor forever <laughs> on their arm. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, we only get six episodes for mm -hmm. the this season. Are fans going to be happy with the way things end? I hope so. I hope so. We, we did our best. I mean, there's a telenovela, a renaissance fair. Um, there's tap dancing. We learned Spanish. Yeah. We did yeah. our best. We did our best. I mean, and I really hope that um, they enjoy them as much as, you know, we enjoyed making them. There's basically 12 episodes crammed into six. So it's, uh, there's a lot of... of action and movement and it's just fun if you're a fan of the show then i think that you'll get exactly what you want yeah. okay. I hope. did you guys take home any souvenirs last day of filming any of your favorite artifacts or anything I patio furniture <laughs> <laughs> i didn't have any patio i'm a oh. pretty practical person that was i mean the thing is is for me it's all up here yeah. you know uh for me there there in artie's office there was a little set of bongo drums that you between between this each take, I'd be like, boom, 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 boom. <laughs> Joanne would be like, put down the bongo drums. So, so it actually, what was the I bongo like drums, put down the bongo drums. <laughs> it actually became an artifact. The bongo drums yeah. have now been imbued with the, um, the ire of Joanne Kelly. So now <laughs> I have a little piece of Joe with me at all times. I had, I had everybody from the cast and crew sign these bongo drums. So. That was my. And last question before you guys get away. If you were stranded on a desert island and you could only have one cast member with you, who would it be? Edward. <laughs> no. Be of course. No, I think you'd probably Edward. take Jack. Jack isn't a cast member. 
He sort of is. No, I'd take you. You're the hottest one. <laughs> Thanks, guys. And we're... We keep going. I'm like, we took some pictures. I was like, damn, Joanne's hot. It's like, because, you know, when you're working After together. Six years? Well, because you, you have to turn that off. Because yeah. otherwise, you know. Otherwise, it's just. Disaster. It's just strikes. Disaster. <laughs> All right, and where can fans catch the final season? Uh, April 14th yes. on Sci Fi. That's right. Thank you so much for Thank being you. with us. Thanks.